Previously on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Are you gonna copy this as well? Yes, you will. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. And now back to doing quite literally anything. Thank you for the visit, Master Goy. A good friend of mine is pretending me of your recent exploits. A good friend. <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, lest I forget, there's another matter with a favor much like your opinion on. Do you know what matter of gentlemen's health size is considered cool as it were among the youth these days? Um I don't know. I don't know about this man. It seems like any of these would be an answer of sorts. But, uh, me personally, it's locks. Oh, is that so? I suppose I have indeed seen some of the academy of students sporting such a style. Could it be then that the Pompadour has already had it stay in the sun? <laughs> Aww, he was hoping for the Pompadour! <laughs> suppose I ought to consider a change of leg. Ah, that's to say, uh, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Koi. It's most likely. Thank you again for your outstanding work on our voice and stop on. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help as many as we did. And I know C is exceedingly grateful to you for your partner orders. So, I have one more thing to ask for you, though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think you continue being good friends with as many as you have thus far? Of course, for best buds! I must say, I am truly glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you're more than a small token of my appreciation. Big Nugget! I hope they always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Master Koi. For the close bond. And because I can't have a task. So glad that you came to the Academy, Master Koi. Well then, hey everybody, the great Pikmin CX-79 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um... We just did every objective. Sort of. We still got areas here to handle. But don't tell, don't, don't tell Clover that. So, uh, main game does not end until the credits are awards for the first time. That is how it works. We are still in the main game. <laughs> if it's not even a post game, you're sorely mistaken, because, uh, not quite yet. Also, an item up here. Maybe next time. <laughs> But yes, we're going to be going to Area Zero and handling everything there, so, uh, we better be prepared. Hi, give me go. Hi, give me go. Hey, over here! This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. And so I take it down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater. You know that Pokemon of yours? The one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Kawhidon was born or something like that. Maybe you'd be happy that I finally came, home, back, came come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hold on, Goy. Obviously, there'll be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once you have to get to battle awesome Pokemon, you'll see one in a second. You're annoying to the pets of the Academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But, more importantly, why is it so dark? And where are the awesome Pokemon? 
Yeah, it is weird that the light's all off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running. But now... There it is! Well, now the light's on! But why? I... I turned them on. Seems like they're on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overworld the settings. Oh, it's you! The kid with the fluffy Eevee bag! Um, my guess? Uh, my name's Penny. Well, hey! I never got to actually talk! I'm Nabora! I'm in the class 1A! You must be some uh, kind of tech whiz! Do you like Pokemon about battling too? Uh, you talk, like, way too much. The, the director introduced us. When you need someone who was good with tech, season an opener. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in the second when she heard it was, all, it was to help Koi. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe Koi. And I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. And of course, if one knows me, Arvin, my, love, my loves include my boss stuff and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Koi. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID number 805 c one and Penny, student ID number 083 b 121 I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person, exactly. Often, did you, uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like you... I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the, into the great crater of Powdale. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see, you can see to your right. Uh, Mom? Please proceed below. Are they not in good terms? Must not be. Guess you better proceed below, as requested. I wonder if prof Professor's any good at Pokemon battling. The sounder used to be really famous. Everyone knew who she was. But she hasn't been in the media, like, in ages. Biometric identification pockets. Identity is confirmed. Access granted to the lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically! Not quite. It looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above area zero. Koi, you have Buckle White on with you? Yeah, obviously. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Koi on gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the desert to reach area zero. What? Is there like an elevator or something? Wait, did you say Quiet can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. We're wanting people into stuff like always. Can't wait to see what Pokemon live down there with you. Let's go! That girl, is she like incapable of you or what? I guess we better go too. Oi, ready for the worst? I've been for the worst. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out of that Pokemon yours and we'll be off. Gaia! Gaia! What's the matter with it? Hmm. Get the fight. 
That's what I see. That's what I say. Well, no one then. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on! Wait for me! I was supposed to be the one riding on top of it! Yeah! There we go! Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Kavana. I've been expecting you. And it seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. What? That's Professor Tello? No wonder. Student ID number 805C01. And Penny, student ID number 0... 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor, my cast is such an honor to be in person. I mean, maybe not in person, exactly. Often did you, uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I would like to ask you all to make your way down into the, into the great crater of Faudea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your wife. What about the elephant on the left? Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not in terms? But yeah, what about this up? What about this one to the left? Oh, map is broken. Well, that makes sense. But if you want to why it doesn't change the poison to it's because, uh, <laughs> I saw a comment saying that somebody gave Sada and Toho Battles in Professor Tok oh, 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 and for it's Austin. I think it just works. Biometric identification of Parkus. I didn't disconfirm. Access granted to lower level. Once you step through, you will be above area zero. Kapana, you have one more item with you, correct? I thank you for bringing with you on your mini adventures. Otherwise, I'd be totally extra thing about you right now, but I'd really should have been bonding with it the whole time. If you took my mind of sliding at least you should be able to send it to the depths to reach area zero. When you reach the bottom, I'll get in touch with us again. I, I hope your trip is un uneventful. You can't see any work clouds. How far do you think it goes? <laughs> Look, Kavon, this is even higher than looking down from the top of the lighthouse. Any for the worst. It's a Hmm. Get it right. That's what I say. And I wonder. But none of these kids if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on! Yeah! Rainbow! And now I'm back here again. <sighs> I think I might have died once or twice then. Ah, yeah. It's okay, bud. It 
chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this! Here's your is amazing! Come on already! I guess you really would be on tempo, huh? Boy, you must identify, contradicts the satisfactory, fight signs are always in normal range. It means you're able to make the stem without being hard. <laughs> yeah, sure, smooth sailing. Who could, who could possibly complain about an ending like that? That is good. Hey, because you might fail, given the crewness of the only available access of method. Hmm? I think your mom's sarcasm detective needs fixing. Aw, oh, you were worried about it? That's so sweet! You should now make your way to, to me at the, at the Zero Lab, the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks, installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. So, buildings like these. And the one we're standing right in front of. At each station, you'll be able to you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope this is clear. Succeed, okay. Yes, let's take four locks again to the lab! Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? That's because the kind of is. Come on, time to find a way to the deepest point of area zero! Biometric identification progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Fire size always in normal range. It appears you're able to make the distance without being harmed. Ha! Huh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. We could have passed the complaint about the landing like that. That is good. And concerns you might fail, given the crewness of the only available access method. I think your dad's sarcasm detected needs fixing. Ah, you will by now start so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the, at the Zero Lab, at the deepest part of Area Zero. However... The entrance to the lab is barred by four locks, and stored on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. They look like this. Know them well. Ignore the ones that are right behind you, they are unaccessible. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Gage on enough. There's no good graces after the core of a night. <laughs> That's another one just spawning my dance. But seriously, I'm not gonna. This might give it a testing smoking. Are you seriously not gonna investigate this? Why am I getting Neo vibes from this? Okay, these better have no interest in this guy. I see one way down there. No, we got a long way to go. <laughs> so this is the sense of the great creative power data, it is zero. This is different from the thing in our textbooks. It's so intense. Normally we'd be able to get in here and see it for ourselves. Huh? Wait, where'd Quiet on go? This is like you got two boots or something, it's hiding the ball. And it's silent? That's not good. Can we get back if we get back up to the surface without it? Ah, it should be alright. Last time I was here. I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. You always come through if you were a soft toy. Why don't you just call the professor and sit down here? Don't get along or something? None of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, no need to bite a man off. What are you getting a hobby for anyway? Okay, come on you two, this is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. That, a, that was a lot of dialogue. Just do right off. Hey, for whack with! For the grab! I don't have to evolve! I don't have to evolve to, have to evolve a giraffe wig! 
But I'm gonna have a quick ball, so uh, this will be a bit. This battle seems though. So we can wrap, do not make Pokemon. Now that the brain rays from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is ten times stronger than giraffe wigs. Ting Chomp Pretty! <laughs> Sorry about that guys. <laughs> First one from inside the waterfall, makes sense. Nah, this is a slow water move through. So Penny, I don't know if his friends was going anyway. Huh? Well, I guess he just really came through for me when I needed him. Everything's gone off the rails. School's a mess, my laser stuff with ditto. Always a big help getting all that sorted out. What am I there, you two? Gee, you've got, you've got cool fence aboard just going. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> Penny! Also, man, all the dialogue goes like way too fast. Couldn't even like dial it back just a bit so that people can actually read it. Hey, there's one of the labs. A whale bone. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish rations? Research stations. <laughs> well, that was close. Wow, you have, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you a lot, apparently. Uh-oh. It's one of the champions uh, Pokemon. That's Pokemon Le Le uses. I don't know that species to be found in the Great Cradle. Come on, Gwen, let's take them all together. Puma! Oh wow, I was gonna capture it, but okay. Should be that way.
Are there gonna be a lot more of these bear folk down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy you do. This is time to reset Jason. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too reason for that. It fits our future still thanks to our incident. This city was constructed 87 years ago as a way as a way station for those of Vanga Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed! Looks like we can use the space right up if we need to. Queen if you so can't just say with us log on the lab we're using the central panel. You're the professor, better press it! Locks disabled, but you have four locks to active. Well done. Please continue your efforts after we may increase at stations. I wanted to check out the other wings, but it also busted, so yeah, this is going great. You okay, buddy? I wonder if my mom ever worked here. So, um. Real quick, uh, I missed this in the main story, and you could read these books, and I totally did not know about that. Because I assumed they were just decorations. So, uh, let's read these. Thanks to my prototype terror orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Capo Poco. Someday, though, I return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. It is determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being recorded. The interlocking hexagon plate that comprises Un's shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've done specializing. That teleport patch seems like a reminder. <laughs> I, I almost almost saw my mom in her life. Oh, it's a time for the backstory reveal. Penish! She's always busy with work, hardly ever came home. Good for myself, good for myself, my boss was the one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know at all, even if she is my mom. I try not to think too much about it. I try to do 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 it. That's the spirit of two! <laughs> Man, we're really just gonna have to walk around this part, huh? Can't stand complaining because it gives me a chance to soak into sight, but still. Now, um, uh, continue on that way. Maybe? Yeah, no, 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 not, not that way, Billy. Nobody asked me to fight you. You just appeared to stood in my way. So yeah, I guess we just continue down the road we were supposed to go on, okay. I understand. <laughs> Somewhat.
Oh, esto vuela. Part of me thinks Pombo is... Pombo is always a shame, but no, the cars don't tend to look like that. I'm sorry, it's just, it bugs me. Max Defus, jeez. I don't know why my things are really helping me out here. It's really helping me out, huh? As he meant. Amazing island rampaging sort of thing. Rampaging an average. No, we better hope not. That's when I figured it today. Can we attack this attack one? No, not that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with plenty of. See, it's pretty reckless. But she just loves the battle. Quite a lot. Please announce this like, that always made me think it was a shiny for a moment. <laughs> That was good, for sure, lighting. <laughs> Would've been almost too easy to just be a scientific moment. <laughs> or about a specific moment to just say, hey, be like, hey, here's a free shiny. Cause I could've been more, more noticeable when just the lines change. Uh, maybe just me? I don't know, there's no actual visible map here, so we're just kind of wandering about. Ah, TM. The TM always works too. In here I acquire... A oh, thing, George. Oh, come on! <laughs> you Pokemon really love to follow me around for no god dang reason. Like, I get it, you're curious. You're curious. But I don't have time for this. I have time for plot. Okay, so now we go to the intended route. It really is an actual intended route. It's like a research station. How about time too? Phew, that's... That's it in there. Take a breather. I'm sorry you have a bit more stamina student comes ago. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Uh, hey look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. Huh? Oh my god, it's so cute. Penny, don't approach it. Don't approach it. It's about time! It's 
Squeamtail. Ah, it won't even let me capture it. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Ah, but suddenly, lightning change. Oh, jeez. That's basically with this. Uh, fourth quit. Seriously, what was that darn thing Skirmy has there? It was definitely kind of for Wells' for Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Oh, she does not play horror games. It's KB2, I don't play them. No, we did not mention the, the Doki Doki Little Chuck Club. Hey look, a little bit. It's good to see some nice really Pokemon on you too. Deli? Oh my gosh, so cute! D. D D D D D D D D D Iron Bundle! Um, yeah, sure. Whatever, I guess. Mine. Ah, oh, okay, why me? Ah, yep. Seriously, what was that? Damn, don't think it scared me half the day. This is definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deliberate, wasn't it? No kidding. Oh, 